The kingdom of God can be compared to a certain lawyer, a man who represented poor people in front of a judge when they were accused of a crime. Now, this lawyer knew that poor people had no money to pay a lawyer to defend them in court. After all, this lawyer had been poor himself at one time. So he decided to defend these poor people anyway without charging them any money. Because of this lawyer's ability to convince people when he spoke, some of the poor people he defended were given lighter sentences, lighter punishments, and even some others were found to be not guilty. As a result, some of the poor people he defended turned away from their life of crime, worked hard, and eventually became lawyers themselves. Then they went out and did the same thing that had been done for them. They defended poor people in court without charging them any money. The point is this. The Bible teaches us that Jesus Christ is the Son of God who came and died on the cross to take the punishment for our sins. What that means is, is that in a way, we're the ones who put him on the cross. We are the ones who hurt him, and he had to come and rescue us by dying for us, for, by suffering on our behalf, even though he had done nothing wrong. That's what that illustration is meant to help us understand. You see, it didn't stop there. Jesus Christ died on the cross and he rose again from the grave on the third day so we could live forever together with him in heaven. And now he is at the right hand of God. That's what the Bible says, the right hand of his Father, interceding for us, which means just as the high priest in the Old Testament used to pray for the people to God, Jesus Christ is in heaven praying to God for us when we do something wrong. Isn't that amazing? Isn't that wonderful? He is our advocate. He is our intercessor. He intercedes for us. That's what that word means. He is our intercessor to God for us. So that's a good thing for us to remember because if somebody does something wrong to us and hurts us, we need to be like Jesus. We need to forgive them and then we need to pray to God for them. By doing that, we will bless God, bless those who have hurt us, and we will be more like Jesus. Hey, how you doing? This is Officer Duguid. This is my dog, Chef. And we just saw an illustration about a man who defended someone else in court so they wouldn't be punished quite so severely. You know, that reminds me of a time when my next door neighbor came to me and said, Hey, Officer Duguid, your dog, Chef, he's digging holes in my backyard. Now, with all due respect, please tie him to his dog house so he won't do that anymore. <coughs> what happened? <coughs> Well, you know what happened. I went to him and I said, Hey, listen, Chef is a good dog. And I promise you, if you'll give him another chance, that he won't do that again. <coughs> and, and what happened then? Well, you know what happened then. I, I told you, Hey, Chef, if you do that again, not only will I tie you to your dog house, I'll take away all your dog treats. That's right. And you haven't been there since, have you? No, you haven't. But anyway... <coughs> What do you mean was fun, digging holes over there? Well, it was wrong, because that's not your yard. You, you can't go over, don't even think about doing that again. That's right. Anyway, I was saying, we need to remember what we saw in that illustration, that in the same way that, that Jesus Christ is our lawyer, he's our intercessor, he prays for us to God. If somebody does something wrong to us, we need to pray for them to God too. Pray for them to God so that we can be like Jesus. This is Officer Duguid saying, remember what Jesus did. Let's all be like Jesus.